Deborah Bortart, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. I am reporting to you from the New West Media Summit in San Francisco, California. It has been nuts for news this week for the cannabis industry. A lot of divorces to go over, so we're going to jump right in. Medmen and Pharmacan, they are no longer. Medmen was going to acquire Pharmacan in a deal valued at $684 million. Well, now the deal is off. They did get a termination fee, which was the Illinois licenses from Pharmacan. But here's what's interesting is Medmen has been talking about their pro forma numbers for a while, including the Pharmacan revenues. So now they're going to have to back those numbers out of those pro forma figures. Be interesting to see how the market reacts to that. Talking about backing out of numbers, HexoCorp had estimated that they were going to do $40 million in revenue in 2020. Well, turns out that was a little optimistic. Hexo now says that for the current fiscal year, it's going to be more like 46 to 48 million, so they're going to be nowhere near that 400 million in 2020. The market spanked them and spanked them hard for that. The Green Organic Dutchman also said that they were looking at new financing to complete some of their buildings. Here's the thing, though, in a couple of investor decks, T God said that these buildings were fully funded, and now they're saying they need money to finish them. They also said they have 50 million in cash. So if they have 50 million in cash, shouldn't that be enough to finish these buildings? The market wants to know what's going on. The stock fell 40% in two days. Um, we also have some news from Alifia and Afria. Alifia said they're not gonna buy any more cannabis from Afria because they couldn't meet the uh, supply amounts that they had agreed to. Alifia is gonna buy their cannabis elsewhere. Afria says, no big deal. We're still going to achieve net positive income for the year. So that's how that divorce went. And then finally, I think this story is super crazy. The two Russian nationals that were arrested for campaign finance violations had applied for cannabis licenses in Nevada. Now they applied two months too late, but they talked about trying to give some money to some politicians in order to get their application through. Well, it never did happen. The whole idea got dropped, but it's pretty interesting to see how this big story that's happening across our country had its roots for a very few moments in Nevada's marijuana license applications. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Bortar reporting for the Green Market Report from San Francisco.